This is part two of my little video series of modeling this open book, and the closed books and the candle holders and candle. Um, and uh, this is uh, what we got so far. And uh, what I've done uh, is I, I went back into these books here. And I um, changed the uh, the, the uh, auto smooth angle uh, before it was. Uh, I think I didn't even have auto smooth on, and so uh, when I smoothed them and, and we looked at it, we had this effect here, and I changed it to 25, and uh, it's, I've gotten rid of that, and they still look just fine. I did that here as well. All right, so um, I'm going to continue now. Uh, with this and I think we're going to go ahead and, and make a candle and I'm going to set the cursor to selected and I'm going to uh, bring in a cylinder 32 sides uh, let's set, uh, uh, yeah. let's have no ends there at all um, I think I'm actually going to bring this to another layer to work on this. Although I know it's going to be a little bit smaller. Okay. scale it in a little bit let me bring it down and we'll do uh, one more he merge those in the center and bring that down that's more or less what I was looking for that's a bit better okay and I think uh, I will uh, cursor select it for that in the meantime, let's actually uh, do a bit more work on this. Pull one there. And bring one up here. And up here, I'm going to put a sub D on this. Okay, we'll do something like that. Too bad, actually, as it is. Um, hmm. Might just go with that.
do a bit of work on this. So I'm going to turn on uh, partial editing sphere. Okay, that's fine like that. Okay, let's uh, let's bring bring this all back. Try that for the moment. Okay, so let's come over to the materials. Now, I think I will go into the node editor for this. So I'll split that window, close that, switch this over to node editor. And for the candle, I am going to try, let's just switch the materials for a moment. So we yellowish color. Um, Try to put a bit of transparency on it. So I'll add a mix shader here and transparent. Make that sort of a yellowish color as well. Um, I don't want it too transparent. So let's just see if you have a look at that. Try control B. Select that and hit F12. And see, you can see a bit of the candle through there. Although that might be a little bit too much. something like that um, control alt B I think to get rid of that control alt B yeah okay now for the flame um, I think I just want an emission where's emission there it is Yellowish. Try uh, three thousand. Okay, now, 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 now. Okay. Try two thousand. That's quite a bit. that here so let's close this up and uh, let's have a look at a, a decent render okay good only 100 okay let's let's give this a try and see how bright that is Dim 
with some of those other lights. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going a little bit crazy, isn't it? With respect to the candle, the translucency of the candle. The transparency, sorry. Adjusting the wrong thing. Um, let's try increasing the roughness. I may not even want that transparency at all. back over here yeah um, let's just see what happens if I don't have that at all Before I do that, let's just try a different setting here. Now, I just want to look at the flame itself. Okay, let's turn this guy off first of all. Make sure that's not having to play too much of a role there. Okay, it's not anyhow. For a moment, and let me have a have a quick look at uh, my settings for for this one. All right. Well, I, I got that set pretty high. The candle itself. Transparent. All right, so let's go back to this one. Make it a bit of a darker yellow. Do 
geez, I don't remember what my settings were. <laughs> I just looked at it and I, I didn't I didn't concentrate. Okay, so I have 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. Let's try that. 0 0.5. 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 0 0.5 here and 0 0.35 or so there just out of curiosity a quick one of those oh there that's that's better for uh, for the flame there and then the candle now still it's too transparent uh, in my mind um, So that's a zero. I almost want just the tiniest bit. Okay. Okay. Although I'm sorry, I'm seeing more. Um, what I'll do is, uh, yeah. Or, uh, just the angle a bit and I'll worry about the plane later um, let's do a, a bigger render a better render yeah lighting is uh, is in materials is, is really not something that I've, I've, I've learned much about yet um, it's just it's just time, you know, and, and practice. And I got a newborn daughter here, and I, I'm, if you see me on YouTube, uh, I'm really a musician. Well, I was a high school teacher, um, you know. And there's just so so much to learn. It's not super hard necessarily, but uh, you know, that's not what I I obviously uh, want yet. But we'll get there, you know, so just have, uh, have patience and uh, we'll, do, we'll do what we can here. Okay, the, the, you know, this candle's not throwing in any light anywhere, uh, you know, so um, I got to keep working on this. Okay, well that's basically how I would do that anyhow. Um, let's try, let's, let's render it like this again. I just wanna have another look at the, uh, that candle and flame and see if it's usable. Doesn't exactly look like a candle flame though, does it? All right, what seems to be the issue here? Okay, 
certainly see it from that angle. So let's go ahead and bump you back up, one, two, three, to that. And let's shut off all these lights. I don't know if I need the eye, maybe just the camera. What does that do over here? Yes. Okay. I like that there, I guess. There it is. I can see it. You need that candle to be a bit translucent. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. We'll figure it out, maybe. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let's have a look from here. It just gets overwhelmed. Some of the light can escape. Um, it's just too. It's too much. like that. off I just want to have a look at that candle okay I'm starting to like that okay now what the heck's going on here all right Okay. 
Let's do this. to be looking at that straight on or somewhat straight on anyhow do it something like that Let's just render this and have a look. Too bad, not too bad. I mean, admittedly, the lighting is not great. Uh, in fact, the lighting is probably terrible. Um, uh, but once again, I'm really focusing on the modeling. Uh, as you can see, I, I'm I'm uh, flustered by the lighting. Uh, I don't I don't know enough theory of lighting yet uh, and practical applications of, of you know what you do when you. You know, you want a candle to throw flame. I mean, do you, do you put a point light there? You put a point light above it? That kind of thing. Um, and obviously this doesn't look quite right. But in terms of the modeling, which is what I'm really looking at, uh, this is what I'm coming up with. So I'm going to do a little bit more work on this. I will mess around a bit more with lighting. And I want to put a few more books here and there of different colors. But, you know, that's going to be the general idea. I might change the angles. So... Uh, give me. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back with uh, somewhat of a, a final product because the main modeling is done. All right, so I'll be back uh, in a couple minutes. All right, well, I guess that's it. This is the image that I've come up with. I uh, made a couple of changes here. I um, worked a bit on the lighting. I added this title to this book change the color to red change the <laughs> title here I don't know what to call it uh, this does not look that ominous it's an ominous title souls of the dead on a green book 
with no other, you know, embellishment on the book. Uh, but uh, again, this was just sort of a just a modeling uh, video, practicing uh, doing the books. Um, I uh, I like it. It's cool. I kind of prefer the first one. Um, I don't know. There's I guess uh, the the candle flame looks a little bit better, and the the candles. Um, and I think I had lights overhead uh, shining down and it looked a little bit like the candle was casting the color. I like the, 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 the book color, but uh, you know, sometimes when you do stuff on video and uh, it doesn't always work out. I do have a few questions um, for those of you that are far more experienced than I am with, with Blender. I don't exactly want to open myself up to constant uh, criticism and critique uh, because I, I do want to do this for fun, but I, I, I also would like to improve. I don't have tons of time, but I have some time. Um, I guess what I would like to know is how to make this thing cast light. Uh, it doesn't look like this candle is, you know, like you would expect like sort of a cone of, of light, I would assume around it that maybe fades out. I mean, how do you do that? Do you, do you shine a spotlight down, a point light? Uh, you know, uh, what do you do for that? How can I improve my, my lighting? You know, as far as the modeling goes, it's coming along and that's my main goal for now until I really have time to work on the rendering and lighting. But any small tips uh, would, be, would be great. Um, a couple of things that I did uh, in order to make the render a bit better and, and uh, these are just tips I picked up along the way. Um, this is nothing special at all but you know I'm, I'm rendering at my you know maximum resolution for this preset or whatever and uh, 16 uh, bit color depth lowered the compression. I don't know why I didn't bring it right down to zero and I mean, I rendered it this at uh, just at, at three fifty um, for sampling. Um, I put in uh, this clamp value of one, and and that helps to some extent. And I also uh, and I could have played around, I suppose, with here a little bit, um, but I I unchecked uh, refractive uh, caustic. Sometimes I un uncheck both of those. And that helps to get rid of the the noise or the fireflies uh, in the in the render. And I'm sure there are other things that I could uh, play with uh, that I I haven't. But you know the the overall render looks okay. So the, the lighting is 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 not great. Um, but once again, the whole point of this was to practice modeling an open book, which was a new thing for me. And these closed books and put some text on and make a little bit of a scene. Uh, that shows the uh, shows the modeling aspect so um, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll uh, we'll keep at it it's a lot of fun okay take care